If you've been playing Rahala for a long time, chances are that you've been irritated or you just hate something. Depending on where your ELO range is, that can be completely different. From SIG spammers, to passive players, to t a certain character like Taros. But in today's video, I'll be going over Brawlhalla's most hated weapon to this day. And that is Lens. Ever since it's been added, it's always been something that people regard as easy, or toxic, or simplistic. It takes no skill. A lot of people play Lens, and there have only ever been two successful players that have really pushed the limit of this weapon. In today's video, I'll be going over Lance as a whole. Is Lance bad? Is Lance toxic? Does Lance need a rework? In today's video, it is all about Lance. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to never miss any Brawl Hall of News. And just like that, we're about to get into it. This video is all about Brawlhalla's edition of the insanely broken weapon, quote unquote, Lance. Welcome to Brawlhalla. So if you've been around in Brawlhalla for a decent amount of time, you will realize that the majority of people that always complain or have a issue with certain weapons or a vendetta with certain things in the game like six spam are usually pretty far down in elo i'm not trying to be rude or anything i'm just being completely honest and that is like the main hatred for lance in the first place as a new player fighting against lance is honestly gonna be pretty terrible and this is honestly because of the way this lance operates as a weapon it is very easy to move around the map and as people are only just starting to learn how to actually move and play with movement people are bad at dodging and recovering and lance just gives you an easy recovery it can fly around the map easily it can be extremely hard for players in this low elo range to actually deal with the weapon and that causes people to despise the weapon completely and this also causes people just to hate playing against the weapon at all and it's like the exact opposite for like higher elo ranges where people basically consider lance like the worst weapon in the game pretty much just because of how committing the moveset it kind of is honestly when you do a stare you get knocked out of movement pretty easily so it's kind of easy to punish but of course like i was talking about earlier we have had two players that have only took the weapon to the peak of its gameplay and those two players are wesley and coslix right here is when coslix won dream hack for 2018 from brawlhalla and this is unfortunately the only actual land he gets number one in but this still honestly proves that Lance, even at near the beginning of the game's esports scene, around the beginning, that you can still honestly win with this weapon. And in, also in this video, like I was talking about with Wesley, the most recent tournament Wesley won while playing a main, like mainly a Lance player, was last year 2022 Summer South American Championship. So it seems like people in lower ranks hate Lance because they just don't know how to counter a weapon actually yet and the way it moves over to different weapons and people in the higher elo ranges while they might say it's bad we have had two successful pros who have actually made good money from playing this weapon which basically is honestly just meant to show that lance can be good but it's still a problem in the lower ranges which is on to my next topic of does lance need a rework Honestly, I feel like Lance does not deserve a rework. I feel like Lance is the type of weapon that is like a learning curve for newer players. It's a weapon that is going to be hated as you begin, but then as you go on, realize that it's not as big as a threat as you thought it out to be. It is going to cause you to, of course, have to learn how to adapt to certain type of play styles. But, of course, this is a fighting game where you're going to have to do that anyway. So that's why I said I feel like Lance is more in a situation to where, like, it's going to be something that as you begin, you struggle against a lot. But as you get more and more used to it, you'll be more comfortable actually learning how to punish the weapon instead. Now, of course, I'm not saying that Lance is completely balanced. There are still things about Lance that honestly need to be changed. But... A whole entire rework of the weapon is not needed, honestly, and I don't think it ever honestly will be needed. I feel like Lance is in a decent spot, and I feel like it deserves to be kept in this type of spot. To where if you put enough time to the weapon, you can go pro, but it's just going to require a lot of effort. 
On top of that, Lance has his own struggles like I was talking about earlier. The fact that it has a lack of anti-airs. I mean, it doesn't have any guaranteed kill confirm. And, like, it's not the best weapon in the game. So, I just want to put that out there. Lance is not the best weapon in the game. While it might be annoying, it is not game-breaking. At least not right now. It has had its moments in the past with certain patches. But right now, Lance is in a pretty decent spot. So, no, I feel like Lance does not deserve a rework at all. Honestly, I think I did a pretty good job of a summary of why Lance is honestly hated. And I feel like it's kind of understandable at the same time. As a new player, Lance can be extremely annoying. I get it. Sometimes I can't even stand Lance. But if you put the time in to get better at the game, you will be able to understand how easily punishable the weapon actually is and the major weak points it has. And once you learn how to do that, Lance is going to become way less of a problem for you. But at the same time in this video, I show if you're willing to put enough time into the game, you can also become a pro of this weapon. I feel like Lance is misunderstood of what his job is supposed to be. Lance is supposed to be a learning curve. Something that you get over with from actual time spent into the game. I don't think Brahal of course meant to go out of their way to make the weapon toxic, or annoying, or hard to deal with, but more of something that you learn to deal with as time goes on. Brawlhall is all about learning from your mistakes, and if you can just adapt a loss into something way much better, then you will improve as a player, and eventually Lance will never become a problem for you. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to never miss any updates, Braha news, or guides. And until next time, have a great day, everybody. Peace.